Hello, we're looking at a slice of liver here, and the pathology that we are seeing is actually quite ill-defined. There is a mass located here, which is probably in the region of the right lobe. The interface between the mass and the liver is really very ill-defined, so it is not a sharply demarcated mass. At the same time, we also see some paler areas, and these are actually seen better on the opposite surface. So if we look at these areas, these paler areas within this tumor mass, these actually represent areas of necrosis. Hence, we're looking at a large tumor in the liver, and this is an example of an intrahepatic cholangeal carcinoma. A cholangeal carcinoma is a malignancy that arises within the bile ducts, and in this instance, it arises within the intrahepatic bile ducts. Some of the risk factors for cholangeal carcinoma include the presence of any chronic inflammatory process involving the biliary tree. So, for example, parasitic infections like Colonarchia sinensis, which is seen in some parts of Asia, also primary sclerosing cholangitis, and stones, hepatolithiasis, stones within bile ducts in the liver, can also be risk factors. So interestingly, these tubular structures here are actually some of the larger bile ducts and some of the smaller bile ducts, and we can see this blackish material within them, and this is evidence of biliary sludge. So this may have been an underlying risk factor for the development of cholangeal carcinoma. Let me show you another example. And this picture is taken from the online pathology resource Pathopic. Uh, here is a slice of the liver, and you can see the contrast uh, is much clearer here. There is, again, a very ill-defined pale pinkish tumour, and it's got a very vague interface between the tumour and the liver. You may notice that this part looks quite whitish. Uh, it is a bit different from the necrosis that we saw earlier, which is just um, seen as a paler area in the background of the fleshy tumour. Here, this area appears a bit whitish, and this is probably due to the very fibrotic desmoplastic stromal response that is incited by cholangeal carcinomas. Here is a very high-power microscopic picture showing you a malignant gland, which is quite irregular, and all this material around it is the stromal response, which is highly desmoplastic, in other words, it's quite fibrotic. So these tumours are firm in texture and also may appear a bit whitish grossly. Most cholangeal carcinomas are adenocarcinomas because the bile ducts are lined by glandular cells. However, in a minority of cases, we can also have adenosquamous carcinoma or even very rarely squamous cell carcinoma. So to summarise, here is a case of cholangeal carcinoma, intrahepatic, which is seen as a very ill-defined tumour mass with areas of necrosis, and some of the background bile ducts within the liver show evidence of biliary sludge.